Okay, welcome back to Evil's Comics, and today I have my AOK -okay from Dank Comics. I got it in the mail, uh, it was at my door about 10 minutes ago. I've had everything to set up. I had two options to do this live, but it would have taken me a lot to deconstruct everything and set everything up. So I am recording. Um, but this will be uncut. There's no extra takes. You know, I mean, I made sure my phone is turned down. I think I prepared for everything. There might be some outside, you know, noise, but I'm not gonna stop once I start. Um, uh, so, backstory. Um, Dan Comics. He he was. He's actually one of my inspirations, and I am gonna do um, a video about him because. Uh, he's very creative. He's very interesting. Um, you know, he's he's into comics. He's that that friend that you would like to have, you know, to to talk about comics and 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 it just about life in general. He seems very interesting. Um, and I've 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 been watching a lot of comic book channels. I've been in comic books my whole life, but you know, I mean, uh, since I found him, it made me want to do my own channel. It kind of showed me how how. You didn't have to be so, you know, blue screeny about it. Or, I mean, I'm am doing this low budget. I don't have internet in my home. This comes from the internet off my phone. Um, you know, I do have some expenses as far as like, uh, you know, that this that all these episodes are always sponsored by my friend uh, Debo Five Hundred Four TV, and we'll we'll get to that in a little bit. But anyways, long story short, I connected with Dank and. Um, I mean, just one day out of the blue, he, he, hey, send me your address, and I mean, I gave him my address, yeah, that sounds weird, you know, but in the comic book world, it's such a strong community and a friendly community that it was kind of something I could risk, um, because I gave him my home address, um, I don't have a P.O. box yet, I'm in the process of that, but like I said, this is very low budget, I actually started this probably at the worst time ever, I just got done being sick, and I was, I was at home, during the week I was supposed to be recovering and if you go back to my earlier videos you, you might be able to notice I wasn't um, you know as active and everything as I am now um, okay so without further ado the AOK -okay, and this is an act of kindness from Dank Comics if y'all have not checked out his channel just click on any one of his channels and I mean it's not just about comics he has life advice I mean <laughs> martial arts you know techniques on his live feeds uh, man this guy's crazy um, I will do a small social like you know shout out at the end of this but I just want to prove that you know that this is how I got it the tape is still there I have not opened it yet I did you know I covered up our addresses this I don't I'm pretty sure he didn't do this I know for a fact he didn't do this and this just shows you you know hey you know I post Oten but I know Dank and I've watched enough of his unboxing to know that he prides himself on uh, on packing and so I'm really uh, I'm not worried about what's you know how the condition inside I know it's going to be like the most pristine condition. Um, I see a lot of people unboxing like knives and all kind of stuff. The X-Acto knife is so much smaller. I mean, the warning, you know, sharp objects, kids, please don't do this at home. I have stuck myself numerous times. One of my favorite scars is actually right here and I was just popping Christmas lights off in the X-Acto knife and bloop right inside. Um, <laughs> but, so please be careful with the X-Acto knives, but I mean, you know, there's no uh, second cutting, there's no, now as far as like depending on how far this is sealed, which I'm pretty sure it's sealed pretty well, I'm just making sure to cut all the tape before I start trying to open it up like a Christmas box. My actions are going to be, re you know, as real as I can. <laughs> A genuine, you know, um, I've been kind of psyching, psyching myself up because I don't get gifts. I get gifts from, from one person in my life, and she knows who she is. Um, like once a year on my birthday, she has shown up and, and she never fails. She was a little late this year, um, but 
not she she was sick and she was right there as soon as she got better and she's always been there for me um she gives me tons of great advice on what to do about my channel she gets mad sometimes when i make mistakes in these videos um okay so inside it looks like we got bubble tape like i told you man dank knows his uh his packing bubble wrap i'm trying i'm checking everything to make sure because sometimes people like to put extra added gifts in here. I don't know what to expect. And I mean, I'm praying that there's not something super crazy in here because, like I said, I don't I don't get a lot of gifts. You know, I don't I don't have family like that. I don't have, you know, my my friends, my my close friend D Boy. Um, you know, we give each other gifts all the time. But I don't, I don't get a birthday gift. I don't get a Christmas gift. I don't have a Christmas. Um, and <laughs> But, okay, so that was everything in the box. But that's, that's a whole different story. And I'm not here to do this whole sad story. This isn't new. Um, I have nothing wrong with... with uh, sometimes it's a lot be better, you know, being by yourself. Sometimes it does suck holiday-wise. You know, I feel like I'm Batman looking in on... Uh, family so painters tape and he's got a Gemini it looks like another Gemini underneath so I'm gonna set this over here I don't even think I need the exacto knife because I know he's used painters tape and if y'all don't know painters tape is the best stuff in the world because it just you know it easily comes off especially the plastic that the comics are in okay I, just, I, I, I kind of looked at it a little bit, but I couldn't see enough. I just saw a bit of a cover, so I'll pull it out, and I'm just going to do this. I'm hoping I'm doing this in the right order, Dink. I'm going to set this over here for a second. And this is the best way I can, I can, because <laughs> I can't video edit it yet. I'm still working on that. So, <sighs> okay, so this is a, uh, I'm, I almost bought it the other day. I didn't have enough money. Um. This is a series that I want to. This is Beckstar. This is from Mad Cave, uh, I guess, Productions. This is a number one. And it's a story that, that he was reading. He reviewed on one of his, and I was like, I had never heard about it. And it you know, you hear certain ideas, and, you know, you want to get into it. Um, and it just came. I mean, there's there's been so many comics coming out. I think right now there's like 260 comics coming up next week. You know, and it's like, well, you know, you have to cut some ties somewhere. And next star number one. Okay. It looks like that way up. I'm getting like real nervous and um okay, Scott Scouts Hunter number one. And uh this is a, a comic that I did review and uh I really love this comic. I actually have right here I can show you and, and Dank had pointed this out and I never even but I actually got some of the mayor badges, you know, when they came out. I, I was a Boy Scout growing up, so um, <clears throat> I kind of dug the whole Scouts on her thing. Hell yeah, but I'll take another, another. All right, all right, all right. I hope it didn't come out too much. All right, we got Scouts on her number two. Man, and then, and this was a really good series. I had this review up. I, I really, I mean, I, I, I hope they continue it because it was just a five issue run. It was really good. And honestly, I don't have a lot of common. I, I don't have a lot of doubles. I do, I do have a mistake of buying a lot of doubles. I did that before. Now I've started picking up uh, more doubles, but for on a selling, you know, like uh, not a, you know, to. to try and make some money back out of this, turn my hobby into my love and my, you know, full circle. All right, uh, Scout Hunter number three, all right. I'm digging this. Thank you, Dick. Okay. Scout Hunter number four. I'd be tripped out if you got number five. And I think I got different covers. I think on two of them I bought different variants. Oh, hell yeah. So I got Scouts Hunter number five. Put that right there. 
And this was such a great issue. Honestly, these last two issues honestly redeemed the series for me. I almost, I almost stopped reading after the third series. Man, I, some of these things, I, I don't know what to expect. All right. What? Okay. This is tripped out. This is Dank Comics' own comic. This is one that he did back in the day that he has up on his channel that, that's digital. And even right right here it says Dan, uh, it's uh, Dania, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Dania, the comic.com. And he has, you know, this issue digitally. Oh my God. And I, made, I, I wanted this so bad. As soon as I heard about Dank and then he did his own comic, I've been wanting to hear some of his own ideas because he's so interesting. <laughs> this gets ridiculous, boy. Okay. What? I already know the cover. Okay, this is Silk number two. And this was, I did pick up uh, Silk number one and I stopped at number one. I, I kind of, it just, it wasn't for me. Um, I actually bought me a version and my friend a D-Boy 5 because I thought Silk was it was going to be really badass. Um, I do, I, I have heard that it really redeemed itself in like the fifth issue, I think. So I was going to pick it up later on. Now the cover, like he put right here, he put also a key and super hot, co hot, hot cover. He's not joking. This cover I think was selling for like 40 bucks because it is a ratio and I think it actually has like a connecting with Miles uh, Morales uh, Spider-Man. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Now, I'll take the little so you can see it. But, but I mean, that's just a badass cover. I mean, just the cover alone, you know. And it's a key. I mean, and right there, if I ever like needed something to be graded, which that's coming, I already have like at least three that I'm gonna try and get graded and go for that nine eight. That's in the works. This is ridiculous. I mean, how much did you send me, Dang? That was enough right there. I hope I put that up right. <sighs> See, he knows I didn't. I, I I had to pass this up. It was honestly, it was on a big week, and I I wanted this comic so bad because for me, the Asian culture is <sighs> it is just amazing, and it's not just Chinese, Japanese, Korean, um, Taiwanese, Filipinese. You know, I mean, I mean some of these things in this world don't make any sense like hating on Asian cold for what for what some of my most favorite things I mean you, you talk about just in pop culture uh, Godzilla uh, I mean almost anything Toho Studio Toho Studios is their version of Japan I mean Studio Ghibli I mean it, it's ridiculous I, I don't get it um, I've been a fan of the Asian culture I think you know probably around the same time as comics you know, I remember reading Robotech or something so to be a part of like something that, that they're trying to get more into and that's what this is This was the Asian culture DC festival of he heroes issue And it was just it was a ten buck issue ten dollar issue and it was too expensive But this is the first appearance of the monkey king. I didn't even need to read let's read it though I'm sorry big key and also rare cover this book will explode and value it will because it's his first appearance and he's gonna go far I mean he's already big in the movies he is a, a, a big icon I think it's don't quote me but uh, Chinese the mythology is the monkey prince man okay that might be the end that's the end and I'm going to keep this Gemini. I love Geminis. If y'all don't know about a Gemini, these are the best things to send comics in. I think you can get them around 60 cents up to 60 cents to a dollar. I haven't seen them in comic book shops if they need to. They even say like, I mean, these things are amazing. Okay. Painter's tape. Painter's tape. Painter's tape! All right, it says, see, and I, in this whole episode, I've already been, like, shaky, and, and I'm trying to, like, mask it as much as I can. I don't want to mask it as, I mean, but this, the, all right, it says, that's right, it is what you think it is. Thanks for all your support, Dan. I don't know what it is, but why? 
I do know what it is. It's a slab copy of the Toxic Avenger. <laughs> Funny thing is, he could he could he didn't have to give me a slab. He could have gave me a one. I've never had a slab. This and yeah, I could buy them, but I just I, I've never had the money to 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 do something like this. And now it's that popular. And yeah, thank you, Dave. It's funny. I actually like the Toxic Avengers. I grew up watching the 80s films with my dad. Um, a lot of people don't even know about the Toxic Avenger. And they should. I've heard Dank mention that it's coming back. Um, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's not staged, this is real. This is big, I, I thank you, and this will be paid back forward, not not to you, Dank, and it will, but, you know, forward to, to the community, and this goes into the last part of this. Um, I wanna do a shout out. Just give me a second so I can... I even like, mm-mm. I mean, you can't, you can't set up. So, this guy needs a lot of recognition. I love this guy's channel. The second he drops a video, him and Dank are like, man, I, I, I try and be right there as soon as, I mean, yeah, I permitted it for my work, I can't, but, um, Jerry the Jitterbug, the comic book collector, I love your channel, man. He's such a great uh, channel. It's different because it's all about restoration. And it looks not just about comic restoration, but it's just amazing to see how you could take a damaged comic and fix it. I didn't even think that was possible. I mean, I've, I've, I mean, check it out. Jerry needs the support. He's got, a, he's got a giveaway going on. He's trying to get a bigger channel. He really needs the support, and he deserves it. We got somebody who don't really need a lot of support, but I'm gonna give it to her anyways, cause I, I love watching her. I love her opinions. We've kind of butted heads, and she didn't even know it was me. Um, because remember, I just made this channel, and I, I used to go by a different name before. Um, but flicks and comics, I really dig her channel. I love getting different opinions, hearing different opinions. Um, it opens up your mind, shows you things you, you didn't see, you know, uh, didn't realize, and. Uh, she has a very different uh, perspective from mine, and it, there's nothing wrong with that. I love it, but um, she doesn't just do comics. She does uh, like uh, movie reviews, uh, trailer reactions. She does uh, comic book reviews. Um, but overall, she just she seems like a really cool person and uh, somebody easy to listen to. Flicks and comics, man. Ar comics. This guy right here. Um, I love AR Comics and I use them like a tool. I use them every week to, to you know, double check what's coming out at comic book shops. Um, he's a big channel, another person that doesn't really need a whole lot of support. Everybody needs support, right? But um, but he's a, a bigger channel. But um, I mean, he just seems like a really cool guy, somebody that you that I would love to have a conversation, you know, comic book wise with, and you know about everything. He just seems like a really cool guy. But AR Comics. Um, Another kind of new guy is he's building Steam, but at Mint Hunter comic or Mint Hunter Comics, um, I I really dig Mint Hunter, Mint Hunter Comics, and right now he's he's still at that level where he's still sociable because some of these guys they get too big and they might be sociable but they might not. You have to imagine if they have like a million followers, they can't respond to everybody, and if they are, it's like a robot or something. Um, but he, he's, uh, he's still growing. I think he just hit a milestone right now. And I've been with him for a long time. He doesn't know it because I used to go by a different name. <laughs> a lot of these people, I, dang, dang, uh, I had to surprise him because he didn't realize that I switched my channel. But I told him really quickly. But um, 
Mint Hunter Comics. He does really good reviews. He goes after like dollar bin uh, keys. I mean, and this guy knows his stuff. Um, not only that, but he is, I mean, extremely well with storied reviews. It's something that I would like once I get into the editing side of it. It, it, he is somebody that I would love to inspire, like you know, aspire to, to be at his level of how he recreates reviews and, and uh, you know really engages you and gets you you know want to read you know get get you into these other comic book stories that you never heard of. So Mint Hunter Comics, and I don't have no tie to these people. I have one tie to this person on here. That's my best friend, and I'll promote him every chance I get. He's got a different channel. He's gonna be on my channel eventually if I can get him on here. These are the last three, man. These are the last three I believe you really need to check out. But besides my boy, Dane Comics. This is at dboy 504 tv He does a couple. Uh, he's he, We're going to do statue uh, unboxing together. He's going to start doing it on his own. Yeah. Um, and he, he does uh, like gun reviews and stuff like that. Down here in Texas, man, we're, we're they, they're big on guns. So um, he's got a massive gun collection. And, he, you know, it's, it's not about flaunting. It's just you know showing off his collection um freaky louie man i met him I, I found him out this week from flicks and comics she sent me his way i love freaky louie man he's got these little intros going on and man i, I really dig freaky louie man if you haven't checked him out check him out he needs some support he's growing comic spectrum uh, Dang Comics and Comic Spectrum I have a, go a giveaway going on right now. Check out Comic Spectrum. Check out Dang Comics first to get the whole, you know, explanation of the giveaway. And then make sure you go to Comic Spectrum because I checked out his channel. He's another person that's up and growing and he needs support. And he's got a really cool channel. There's some other guys out there that um, I'm kind of branching off to lately. I I'm small myself. Um, and, and I think every single one of y'all, man, um, Dang comics, man. I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you. I, I wish I could have done this live, but this is the best. I mean, literally, it is live because it's, as soon as I stop this and I keep looking over to make sure it's still recording and, and we're good. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, th this is the most amazing thing I've ever gotten in my life. It's probably... It's, it's got to be up there with like the best gift I've probably ever gotten in my whole life. And I'm not saying like parents and stuff like that. My, I've gotten gifts in my life, but it, it never really personalized. You know, I, in my life, I don't have uh, comic book friends. Um, I don't get to have comic book conversations. This is one of the reasons I wanted to do this kind of channel, you know. Um, I feel like I have a good amount of knowledge. I feel like I'm into comics enough. I have a big enough collection. <laughs> But, um, and I'm trying to bring something different, but man, dang, Dan, man, you are the man. Um, if y'all don't know, he's got another channel, not for profit. And boom. I love that channel just as much. He needs to put some more stuff on not for profit. Honestly, he needs to start branching out and doing other things. And it seems like he is. He's already got a movie up. Did y'all know dang comics has a movie up? All right. Um, and I got a review coming later on. I'm gonna have to calm down. This is this is ridiculous. This is crazy. Thank you so much, Dan. And uh, everybody, y'all have a great Memorial weekend. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, comment big. Hit that uh, notification bell. Um, check out my giveaway, please. Um, uh, you know, I, I have a giveaway going. Uh, I might bring it down to 50 subscribers because I'm gaining speed, but just uh, I thought it was going to go a little faster. I'm not trying to ego, t no, but um, I do want to do the giveaway. So I think I'm going to either up the up the ante and just send out some gifts. I mean, I mean, look at this. This is crazy. This is why I love this community. This is why I love comics. I mean, thanks, Dan.